Hello Wagoneers, today we're going to unbox the Eureka Crate by KiwiCo. This is a monthly subscription box that provides hands-on projects with science and engineering principles. And today we'll be making a wooden ukulele. If this looks cool to you, you can get this subscription by clicking on the link in the description and use the code LEARN30 to save 30%. Okay, so first there's a wooden ukulele. This is a make. It's not a magazine, it's a maker's guide. Oh, a make it's a little booklet. So over here, they tell you all about the ukulele, the history of the ukulele. Uh, what else? Okay, these are all the pieces that are provided, and the only thing we're going to need from home is scissors. Next in the book is the building instructions, and there's a part A, part B, part C, and part D. So four parts. And after you assemble the ukulele, you still need to tune it and then learn how to play it. So that's the rest of the book. They give you some chords to strum. There's also science and history of the ukulele at the end of the book. We're going to start building the ukulele. First, I'm going to show you everything in the box. So there's tuning pegs here. Uh, these are the for the string. No, these are the strings. There's wires and frets here. Uh, some. I don't know. I don't know what these are. And then, oh, bolts. It says bolts. Oh, bolts. And then there's a whole bunch of wooden pieces. Finally, before part A, I want to say that this is for ages 14 and up, which means that brother is way too young for this, but he wanted to help me make the ukulele anyway, so we'll see. And previously, we made an arcade catapult with the KiwiCo Tinker Crate. And you can watch that video by clicking up here. Oh, oh up here. <laughs> it's time to start the making of the ukulele. Key components are going to be tuning pegs, nylon strings, and a wood soundboard. The skills we'll need is knot tying, which I'm not good at, and wood assembly. And the complexity is medium, so at least it's not hard. And the time is... 1.25 hours. Part A, build the fretboard. Part A is going to have eight steps. So for part A, it looks like we'll need this packet and a fretboard. I'm going to open the package of wooden pieces and then take out the fretboard. Yeah, that yeah one. this one. Yeah, it matches. Step one, grab the clear cord, not the ukulele strings with colored tips. So this does not have colored tips, which is good. Sure. Okay. Yep. The ukulele strings are these, and they have colored tips. What? Oh yeah. See, right. the yeah. colored tips are here. Red or okay. green. Clear cord is here. Okay. I'm gonna unravel it. Whoa! Very long. Yeah. Ah. It's a long clear cord, and it says to double knot the clear cord. Okay. So we've got our string double knotted. Hopefully that's how you do it. And now, step two. With the top center hole, this hole, where is it? This one? Yeah, that, that. Okay, pull it. Keep pulling it, keep pulling it until the end. Keep pulling it until the end. Good. Step three, grab one fret. So this is a fret. We're gonna take it and put it right through. in the groove. Oh, these, two, these. Two. Oh, so the string has to be on the top side, which means that. Yeah, those. Write it like this, right? Is that how it looks mm -hmm. on the picture? Yeah. Okay. So we have it like this. Yeah. Step four: hold the fret down and string over the fret so that it gets pulled tight. So look, brother. Okay. The string came out from the top okay. side of the fret, and now we insert it back into the bottom side of the oh. fret. And pull it all the way through. Don't so we we finally wrap the string around the fret, like that. <sighs> next, step five. Up through the next hole. We got the first three frets. Okay. This is going to take a long time. The third so. fret took the shortest amount of time. Yeah, but still, there's so many frets left. This is going to take a long time, so I'll check back once we finished the whole fretboard. We have finished part A, which is building the fretboard. 
Now it's time for part B. Build the body and neck. This one's gonna have, uh, whoa, 13 steps. Step one, unscrew the tops. Oh, wait, hold on. We need seven medium bolts. Is that what they're called? So get the bag of bolts. Oh no. Is These are, medium? here, this one, this one. We got the baseboard with no hole. So now we're going to insert the bolts like this. Next, step three, find these pieces. Sure, put it like this. Yeah, it fits perfectly, okay? Step five. We have finished putting in all the screws and it now looks like this. Also, I no longer have to hold the neck up because the screws are doing their job. So it's starting to look cool. It's time for step 12. So we're getting the two bigger screws. For the back of the ukulele, we're gonna insert the screws all the way to the other end. Next, this is the last step for part B. Step 13. We're gonna get the fretboard from before, insert it. Done! This ukulele is now almost done. It's now put together pretty much. Except the top. Um, we just have the to top. So that is the end of part B. We have two more parts, but first we gotta wash our hands. Now that we've assembled the body, it's time to add the head. So this part will have 10 steps. That was probably the hardest step we've done because there were eight screws to screw in. They and were so tiny. It was time consuming and also it was, the screws are so tiny that it's kind of hard to screw in. Uh, but we got eight done and now it looks like this. Not too impressive on this side, but this side looks kind of cool. It's time for step four. This should be way easier, huh? Okay, so we take our main ukulele and in we go. On to part D, stringing the ukulele. There are nine steps here. So. We have finally finished the ukulele. It took me a long time to put together the string. And this is what it sounds like when it's struck. It's pretty cool. As for final thoughts for the Eureka Crate, I think this was a great box because you get to assemble your own ukulele. Like everything you get to assemble, even the strings. And it was kind of challenging, especially part C, the head area. Once again, you can purchase this at the link in the description and use the code LEARN30 to save 30%. Bye bye. Bye.